you were scammed in total by how how much approximately? Well, it's about somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand, including the trips. I can do a quick uh, quick review of it. It's going to be okay. you know the same story repeating itself basically. Uh, I got scammed you, a little bit. You, on you have any experience with these guys? You don't, right? Huh? You don't have experience with these guys, right? AFA? Uh, yeah. I did a little bit. Yeah, I, I spent maybe a couple hundred bucks with them, and okay. uh, I'm. As I said before, I'm I'm not like a texting guy. Or I I need to meet someone really fast, you know. I'm yeah. not someone who'll text or write to someone or do videos for three months, four months, five months, six months before meeting. To me, that just doesn't work. I lose interest, you know. I need I need in person to, to in order not to lose interest. So, I I tried them. Uh, I saw very quickly because I uh, I remember I don't know if it was you or someone else said you know just to make sure uh, check make a fake profile. Put that you're 75 years old don't even put a photo and see who's answering and all the people who were sending me the letters saying oh you're so you're so great you're so wonderful i was getting the same letters as that 75 year old guy with no photo which know, who, was saying, did you do who that? said who said he was only interested in sex by the way because that, that's what i put there uh, it was it was afa it was ua dreams i tried it with all of them basically you know because i i spent a few hundred on, on ua dreams and one of the afa sites and everything and i i saw through it right away just for that you know i was like okay this is bullshit uh you know and, and paper letter and like no oh what we can't talk outside of the website it's like no 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 this doesn't work so that that i was lucky it only cost me a few hundred dollars what what where i got caught was uh, I thought that doing business with a little agency from a, from a town outside of Kiev or Odessa would be good, and I got I got lured in by a small agency called Ukrainian Fiance Marriage Agency (UFMA). Um, they were really on, good. One, one, second. One, one second before I, I give you the floor. Um, what was I going to say? So that's guys. I call it the dirty old man hack. I didn't know you did the hack. So really, yeah. all you guys got to do the hack and see for yourself. <laughs> Just. Put yourself as a dirty old man, 65, no photos. I like it. Yeah. Uh, I like anal, the, 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 whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to put. And you just, you'll get inundated with all 25 year olds. The same boxes. women, the same women. Yeah, yeah, the same yeah, women. It's crazy. Okay, so. so let's get into your scam story. So, Jean Francis, you were scammed mm -hmm. in total by how, how much approximately? Well, uh, it's about somewhere between 10 and 15,000, including the trips. I'm, I'm not sure because I didn't do a detailed accounting of my trip and what I spent on it. Uh, basically, and which uh, agencies? Did, which agencies to start? Uh, it was it was principally UFMA, Ukrainian Fiance Marriage Agency. Uh, I did uh, I did some letter writing with them for a while and some videos. Uh, ended up going there because they had like a, a mini tour that you could meet all the women that you were interested in. I, I basically got lured in because I lost interest after a while, as I said, and uh, I was getting extra letters from the women I was interested in, you know. And they were talking. It wasn't like the general letters that you get at the PPL sites, you know. They're because they're smaller, they were personalizing it. And oh, what about this, Jean Francis? And tell me more about your daughter and do this and do that and do that. So guys, that doesn't mean anything. Even if they're answering your questions and, and being very solicitous and everything, it doesn't mean shit. No, so, I'm sorry, gonna give you the that. floor. I'll be in the background. I'm gonna give you the floor. Okay, okay? okay fine, fine. Yeah, okay. I got a couple minutes I can go, yeah. Okay. Uh, so th there we go. So I did, I did that and uh, I ended up going on the trip. Uh, the women I met, I thought there was a connection with. Uh, I noticed when I met them that it wasn't the women who were who had been writing the letters because they had no idea what I was talking about. So that was a big, big uh, wake up call and a big disappointment. Um, I ended up meeting women who I thought, you know, we had something deep going on and they knew about my lives too. They didn't even want to hold my hand. Uh, they had no, no idea what I was talking about and all of that. So I was very, very disappointed, very crushed by the whole thing. Met about uh, five women with them. Uh, and what he was doing, the guy, the owner of the agency was, he was renting apartments, you know, and he was getting a cut out of the apartment and I was in a dump. It was a horrible dump. Uh, so after I, I never got the money back, obviously I had to move to, uh, I had to move to a hotel and pay extra for my, uh, for my, for my accommodation. Uh, he was overcharging for, uh, translator fees and I couldn't meet any of, any of the women without the translator present. So. There you go, another another big red flag. So I cut everything off after like four days after meeting all the women because I saw it was useless. Uh, I was stuck in Kharkiv alone. It was two. It was it was this? This is a while ago, 2013, 2014, right after the uh, European Euro Cup, and didn't know what to do. So I tried another small agency. 
uh, which was not as bad as UFMA, but the problem was they, they did no screening. You know, it was a small agency that did no, literally no screening of its uh, ladies. I met two women with that. One was okay, but there was no chemistry, and the other one was basically uh, just wanted to get a nice meal and uh, get a little bit of money for, for her transportation, you know, her train transportation between uh, Kiev and Kharkiv, or basically wanted money. So... What did my conversation with the ladies entail? Well, when I was doing the conversations um, uh, by letter, I was, uh, you know, we were talking about everything. I was talking about my dreams, about my work, asking them, you know, about their lives, uh, what they wanted to do, uh, you know, how they saw life, what kind of relationship they wanted. Uh, we got pretty deep, you know, I, uh, we ended up after a while, I, I talked about my, my divorce, uh, talked about all kinds of stuff, you know, and they were, they were very interested in saying, oh yeah, I understand, and this and that and the other thing. It, we seemed like a perfect match. You know, they were, there was perfect answers, basically, uh, Juan Antonio, basically perfect answers. Um, and like I said, when I got there, I discovered it was the translators. You had two women on staff that were doing translation and it was the translators who were uh, doing everything because the women had no clue of anything. I, I asked a few questions, you know, and oh, she doesn't know about this. And we talked about this several times, doesn't know about that. We talked about that several times. And uh, the other surprise I got is, you know, oh, you look a lot better in person than you do in your photos. And it's like, this is a woman I'd been corresponding with for three months, I think. It was somewhere around three months. So the the, the conversations were really flat in uh, the thing. You know, one of the two ladies that I'd been writing a lot with basically came to the date because I think they paid, they paid her to come to the date. And she left after, like, eating her main dish and just disappeared, you know, didn't say anything. Uh, the other one was really uncomfortable. Uh, like I said, didn't want to hold my hand, was very cold, uh, didn't have anything to say. Uh, yeah. And the other women I met, the same thing. You know, I, I hadn't met a lot to a lot of people. So my friend. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, that was the end. And the, uh, the other agency was, was, was a disaster too. Like I said, I met women uh, that, that it didn't go well. Um, after that, I did one trip with a serious good agency. I won't name them. And uh, on my first date with that agency, the woman actually propositioned me to have an arrangement or what they call being a sponsor over there. Uh, she basically offered to be my girlfriend while I was there and see me as much as I wanted when I was in Ukraine if I gave her 600 bucks a month. So uh, obviously I refused. And when she told me that right after that, I walked out of her at the, at the restaurant. I, I just paid my bill and I said, okay, bye you. <laughs> go home on your own. I'm not paying for your tax. I'm not doing anything. Screw you. Bye. I'm done. Uh, so there, there we go. I need stuff. Who stop with me? Get the second they get citizenship. <laughs> I really don't mind. Okay. I was, um, my, my ex is Russian. Uh, I actually met her through an agency way back when 1997. Uh, she hardly wore makeup and, uh, she stopped right away. My daughter hardly wears makeup. She's a beautiful woman. Uh, my ex-wife is a beautiful woman. They don't need the makeup. So I'm not, I'm not really concerned about that. I'll, one thing that I, that I had to work on with my ex, uh, she refused to wear normal shoes. So we would go out for walks cause I love walking, uh, for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. She was wearing high heels and she would have blisters and problems with her feet. Uh, it took me like six months before she agreed to stop wearing high heels all the time. <laughs> so, you yeah. know. Ah, good question, Juan Antonio. That depends. <laughs> uh, if I do not find uh, the love of my life, uh, I will probably stop working in three to four years. Because just for myself, I could, I could, I could practically manage it now. Um, but I'll be comfortable enough to stop uh, in three to four years. Obviously, uh, if I get married again and uh, the, the woman I'm with has a younger child, then it will be 65. So probably 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I've heard a lot of bad things about the Philippines. So that's no. That's, I just heard a lot of that stuff. And honestly, I, I don't want to go down another rabbit hole because Ukraine is sort of, you know, it, it can be potentially good, but it can be very, very bad. So uh, one rabbit hole is enough. Thanks. <laughs> Joe, I think I'm, I think I'm done. I said, uh, I've said my, my stuff. I said my piece. <laughs> You're on mute. You're on mute. Oh. Thanks. There we well, go. I'm back. I'm back. All right. All right. Okay. Can you adjust, uh, Diana, the um, the 
the thingy, the overlay. Um, whoa, um, I got big fast. Yeah, thanks for sharing. John Francis, um, without naming names, um, I, I just want to highlight something because it is your story. Um, you, uh, you were dating a woman from a good agency. So this is a good agency, not toxic, not black, but yeah. a good agency that does their best like we mm -hmm. do. Yes. What happened to you on that date? And I just want to, again, no names because I wouldn't want to. That was the sponsorship that they call over there or what we call in the U.S. and the Western arrangement. Yeah, my first date, the woman talks to me. She's super upset that I'm not, you know, being like uh, on my hands and knees in front of her. And after a while, she says, well, look, here's the deal. Uh, you know, I, I have I have some financial issues. I don't make as money as money as I want. I need to help my mom. So, you know, just if you give me six hundred dollars U.S. Uh, a month, I, I'll be your girlfriend. I'll do I'll see you as much as you want. We can, you know, have sex, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'll go out with you and whatever. And no problem. So, yeah. First date with that agency that we won't name because I know it's a good agency and they do their best. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the point, guys, is that now. Um, you told this agency what happened to you and what mm -hmm. did they do about it? This is all I'm bringing this up for. They did not believe me to start with. Uh, and they actually wanted me and her, uh, they wanted both of us to come to the office and, and hash it out and talk about it. And I was like, are you insane? I'm not going to do that. I'm not getting involved. She already, and she, she already was insulting. I already left and you're not believing me. I was already insulted. They didn't believe me. I almost, I almost completely abandoned the trip. I'd paid for the trip and I almost said, screw it. Uh, thankfully, one of their translators who was who had actually just gotten married to a French man, uh, she was my interpreter for my second date. And she, right before the date, she says, I want to meet you before. She says, look, it's a good agency. I know I work for them. I just married someone in France. Please don't give up. It's, it's one bad experience. I, I get you and everything. So the agency was very good. But to start with, they didn't believe me. They ended up believing me after, I don't know, a, a while because her profile disappeared. I checked. Uh, but yeah, it, it took them a while and they didn't want to believe me. Uh, so I didn't realize they did pull the profile. Uh -huh. I believe they did because I, I looked and I couldn't find her after a while. But you know, it's a fairly big site, so I might have missed it or whatever. I don't know. So uh -huh. I, I'm not sure if they removed her or not. I think they did. But, but didn't you tell me that they told you, no, you, we don't believe you. We believe her. Yeah, they did. Yeah. To start with, they did. Yeah. 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 They said, no, actually, what they said was they were they were diplomatic. They said, it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's she a hard told me twice. It was a misunderstanding. Yeah. Mis 600 misunderstandings. Guys, the only the only point I want to make is I want to say do we I don't remember that we've had any uh situation like that. Um but I have had some some interesting situations dating with clients and ladies, okay? Uh one lady invited the guy to to, to go to Louis Vuitton and and you want to buy me something here? That that was the the meeting point. Well, that's crazy. She's punted. The, the, the point I want to make is, even if you have a good agency, um, you have to live in Ukraine really to have a pulse on your business because this is a real hands-on business. Um, you you have to believe your men. <laughs> you have to believe your men. Um, I would think so. Yeah, men don't bullshit about stuff like that. Um, There's no and reason you have to. to be prepared. To, to just punt women that behave inappropriately, that show themselves as being somebody that you don't want to have in your database. You have to maintain yeah. quality uh, on multiple levels. Um, so I just kind of want to make that distinguishing a point of know the pond that you're fishing in because it's all about the quality of the ladies. Mm -hmm. Hey, what'd you say, Sean Francis? Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got more questions. Um, <laughs> hashtag believe... All men. <laughs> I love it, Juan. Maybe <laughs> not all. <laughs> yeah, maybe not all. Uh, you also got to know your client. Um, yeah. Here's here's a comment. Um, so, as I said, I'm not I'm not going through this again. I'm I'm going to uh, you know. And anyway, I, I my my particular type is Eastern European women. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. I love. I love this it's one. A long, it's a long-term thing, you know. My my reasoning, just 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 as an anecdote, the, the whole reason that I found this out after thinking about it was, the first adult movie I saw, I was nine years old. It was a James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me, 
and the 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 the, the woman was a Russian spy, and I think that just stuck in my head. <laughs> when you said adult movie, nine years old, I went no 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 Ooh. not no a James Bond movie, you know, not, not a non kids movie, no, not a cartoon, not a Disney movie, you know, just a movie for normal people, you know, not that wasn't just made for kids, yeah, and. Uh, I just went crazy about her. <laughs> here's here's a comment. There's a very wise comment. Good to talk about. All these sites, verified women. Our ladies are verified. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard guys say that to me so many times over the years. It's like, so because they say verified and we have an anti-scam policy, it means, it means they're a That's good meaning, site. That's meaningless. <laughs> No, no, no. All these they, they recruit they recruit girls. I mean, it's it's crazy. Just listen to anyone. Joe can tell you. Yeah. Anna had an experience with it. Deanna had an experience with it. I mean, I a lot of women that I met over there, not just you know uh, meeting for dates, but a lot of people I talked to. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 very well known. And you know, of course, okay, think about it. A, a company that's making millions upon millions of dollars based off of BS is telling you that they're not doing BS for one specific thing. Come on. Be realistic. Come on. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah. Misunderstanding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, oh, okay. Jean Francis, tall. It's a good point. This this would be I have trouble. There aren't a lot, there aren't that many on your site. Yeah, there you know, are, but but I all women. Trouble. Anna's best friend, Olga, she's a towering giant. Wow. I mean, I met her, her early on, right? But she's a big lady. So she she found a very she had a hard time finding a man that's taller than her. So her husband's taller than her, but she I, she's over six feet tall. Um it's a good target, yeah, yeah, but not a lot. Yeah. Not a lot, no, no. <laughs> it's a good point. It's a, I wish you um, thank you very much. Luck. Yeah, thanks Bye, for sharing everyone. today. Okay, bye-bye now.